Before I get started, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new material that I'm going to be producing in the future. And that helps us grow the channel, grow more content, and help people like you. If you want to write, to write our own append, uh, we can probably do uh, something. We cannot do a generic append like uh, the Go one, because the Go one append will work on int slices and string slices and float slices, and any slice that you'll define, it's going to work. And you cannot write a function like that. Uh, maybe when we'll get generics in Go, which is on the way, uh, we will be able to do that, but currently there's no way to do it. So I'm going to, um, just do an integer append, okay? So I'm getting a slice of integer and I'm getting uh, a value which is an integer and I'm returning a slice of integers. Okay, and this is roughly what the built-in append is doing, okay? Uh, so I'm going to say that the size is currently uh, the length of S. Okay? And if uh, the size is smaller than the capacity of S, it means uh, there's space in the underlying array. No, I did spell underlying correctly. Okay. Um, so what we can do is we can say that S equal S and size plus one. Meaning we're telling S now look on the array, the same array, but go one further, go one more to the right. Um, otherwise, I uh, need to allocate and copy. There's no more space. So, um, I'm going to do the size plus two, times two, right? Uh, here's the, the append has some heuristic, right? I should stop doubling after a while. Um, and then I'm going to create an underlying array, so. I'm going to use the new size and I'm going to copy to the array the current slice and say that the slice now looks at the array until size plus one. Okay, and once we have that, uh, we can say that S of the size equal to the value that we want and we return the slice. And this is roughly um, roughly what the built-in append is doing. 